Unit Nine: Learning the Art of Employee Appreciation, September Seventeenth. Leo is leading a management workshop titled "Giving Your Office a Gratitude Attitude Makeover." Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to start today by thanking you for attending this workshop. It's such a pleasure to see so many of you invested in your employees' well-being. Now, let's get started, shall we? To begin with, I'd like you all to think back. To a time before you became managers, would one of you like to outline a personal experience of a time you felt appreciated by a superior? Yes, Neil. I once had a supervisor take me aside and thank me personally for a job well done. I'd worked really hard on the company's quarterly sales reports, and hearing that my efforts were appreciated felt really great. That's an excellent example, Neil. I think this is a perfect time to turn to page eight in your workbooks. There, you'll find a list of methods for showing appreciation. And number two on that list is saying thanks in person, just as Neil's former supervisor did. There are some great ideas on this list. I'm new to management, and I'm worried about not seeming grateful for my employees' hard work. That's normal, Amanda. Over time, you'll become more comfortable in your role. Showing appreciation will start to come naturally. I have an idea. Why don't you tell me about a situation where you should have given praise but didn't? Well, there was this one time.